Now, see, I've been meaning to talk about this for a while. Some of y'all may be looking at the title of the video thinking, what did Milagro's friend do that could be perceived as a threat towards Megan Thee Stallion? I'll let this clip play out and let you be the judge. I told them about running their lips. I told them about and this. Absolutely not. You're, you're, you're being held safe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For these other folks here, oh, man. Oh, man. Who are the other folks? Why are you now, granted, I don't know who the person is in the video. I don't know if she's a friend, family member, whatever have you. But it's not a good look either way. When you are going through a lawsuit and your response is to put a clip on your Twitter page and YouTube page of one of your homegirls having a GTA blicky in the air popping off some rounds. It's not the wisest of moves. And I think a publicist or PR person could have easily told Milagro like maybe that ain't a good look or a bright idea considering the fact that maybe possibly Megan's lawyer could look at that and think huh should we add this to the lawsuit and chalk it up as a threat against my client or as a way it means to intimidate my client out this lawsuit and not saying that that's what will happen here but that's how they can spin it. Now, in terms of the lawsuit itself, I've already stated my piece on it. I do not think that Megan Thee Stallion has a case against Milagro at all, but I think something like this could really be harmful to Milagro because people could take that as any type of threat or intimidation tactic. Now, it could be in response to what some of the people have been saying. Some people who've gone on record uh, happy that this is happening to Milagro. And even something like that, you wouldn't want a separate lawsuit to rear its ugly head from another party that may feel like, oh, you're threatening me because I gave an opinion about this whole thing. I don't think nobody should be threatened or feel like they're being threatened just because somebody said what they said i think that would be a bit of a overreaction and a step out of bounds on the part of the friend of milagro now it would be crazy if one of her friends ends up getting her sued then i'm sorry to say this but that friend got to go that friend got to be out the picture because ain't no telling how many bags that she probably been fucked up for milagro just off of that clip a lot of companies could take that clip and be like see we i know you wanted to do business with us but we can't because of this clip featuring your friend. Now, if you want to take it down, we'll do business with you. But if not, we'll wash our hands with you. So it's one of them things. And the bigger that Milagro gets, she got to be careful because the bigger you are, the bigger the microscope comes. Like people are going to be looking for anything and everything to really go with you for and use against you. And it'll get to a point where she is posting on the blogs and makes it to the shade room. People talk about her and we know how that might go. Uh, not saying in a bad way, but you get the point. Like every little thing that she'll be doing from that point forward will be analyzed under a microscope. And having any one of your so-called friends wave a gun around, even though people could say, well, how do we know it's a real gun? It could be a prop. It could be a water gun. It could have been somebody could have just edited some gunshot sound effects from GTA 5 or whatever and just, you know, threw it in there. But even then, that would be looking kind of sketchy on her part to even post the damn thing. Because why? And then the crazy part is Milagro hasn't spoken about the clip that she posted since then, not on Twitter, not on none of her live streams. She's not said a word. And people could say, well, what can she say? She's being sued by Megan. I, I'm not saying she has to say anything about Megan, just, you know, in the sense of what that clip represents, what it means. Like, is that a video she's going to put out after this whole thing is over? I don't know. But the person in the video needs to be careful what she says. You can't just be saying, oh, I've been telling people they need to watch their mouth. People are not going to watch their mouth. Like, if people have an opinion about the situation, they have a right to voice their opinion. You shouldn't be trying to wave a gun around and try to silence people. Even though I'm on Milagro's side, I got to call a spade a spade. Like, take something like this and look at the whole academics lawsuit from a year ago, which I think is still ongoing. I'm not sure if that's completely wrapped up or not. But imagine, let's just say hypothetically, right? Academics puts out a clip of one of his homeboys waving a gun around and he's being sued oh my god he would probably be done off of one clip of that and whoever is suing him could use that clip against academics like hey uh 
your mans was threatening our mans, or we're going to take it as a threat. We're going to add this to the lawsuit or somebody else entirely may file a separate lawsuit in, in the sense of we feel threatened by this. So yeah, I don't think it's the wisest of moves and Milagro needs to, you know, choose her friends carefully because people like that don't really care about you. If we being honest, because if the person cared about Milagro, she wouldn't be waving the gun around knowing that Milagro is the one with the bag and she isn't. And I mean that with all the respect in the world. Guys, like that person is just a regular person, a regular fish swimming in the water. You can't afford to have crash test dummies around you the more famous you become. I'm sorry to say. Like, you got to know when to cut some people off. And I'm not saying throw a whole friendship away because you're famous now and you got more eyes on you than ever before. It's just you need to know who you have around you and can you bring them around certain people and certain groups and certain tables. And furthermore, can you have a conversation with the person, which I think Milagro's probably already talked to the person about it, I guess, about this whole thing and say, look, I'm the breadwinner of this situation. You need to chill because if not, you could fuck up a lot of business opportunities for me just because you acting like a dodo. Sometimes you got to put your friends in check and let them know who is the breadwinner of the situation. And the biggest question about this, will Megan seem even consider this a threat? Possibly. I don't know. If anything, they probably have, are looking at it or looking into it and thinking about what they want to do. Do they want to add this to the lawsuit or file a separate suit entirely? Or is it going to be other people who the person may have been talking about running their lip and pressing lawsuits against Milagro? Now, keep in mind, people could say, well, why don't they sue the friend? Because the friend ain't got shit. Why are you going to sue somebody who's just a regular person? You're going to sue the person that is the big kahuna sitting next to her. Milagro is one of the top bloggers out right now. So naturally, Milagro is going to take the heat. But I don't know. Time will tell how this lawsuit will go, even though I've said before, it was set a dangerous precedent if Megan won. But at the same time, I don't think Milagro can afford any one of her friends trying to slide on crash out time and just because they got their feelings hurt about what somebody said over an internet connection. Now, of course, there's a difference between talking out the side of your neck and, you know, invoking that type of reaction and you just giving an opinion. You just giving a critique based off something you see on the internet. If you put something out on the internet like I do, then people will critique it. It is what it is. If Malagro was at the same place as somebody like, I don't know, a Joe Budden, even though she is a big dog in her own right, don't get me wrong. I think she would be all over the blogs if she, if there was even a small clip of one of her friends waving the gun around and a Mac 9 on the table while she's undergoing a lawsuit. People would be talking about this shit still for weeks. But I don't know, it's one of the things to keep in mind and conversations need to be had and especially, you know, the bigger Milagro gets. Like, if she gets to that point where she, let's say, gets 2 million subs on YouTube, gets, like, thousands of people watching her on Twitch, like, at least, like, let's say, five, ten thousand 10,000 concurrent, then I hope she realizes you can't have certain people like that around you the bigger you get. It is what it is. And if you're not willing to have those tough conversations or put friends in check that are that are willing to jeopardize the bag for you, then maybe you don't care about your brand all that much. Not saying that about Milagro, just speaking in general. Like, think of it this way. If you've ever worked with a crash out that just did not give a fuck with the boss said and just made your job objectively harder, and you be one of the people that's like, look, I'm just here to do what I gotta do in order to get the job done so I can go home. Those be the type of people that end up losing it all because they not willing to do what it takes. But yeah, all in all, this is a wild situation that I would hope don't backfire on Milagro. But y'all let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Till next time, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.